Where is like another halal restaurant that I need to go to? Where's the oh, best halal right? food in Singapore? Is the tea halal? Yes, of yes. course. Okay. <laughs> I like how they put it in this little like dime bag. Palm what is sugar. Palm sugar. Oh wow. Yeah. Best food. Murtaba. Murtaba. This is one of the best biryanis of all time. I'm calling it right now. Here go. What's your name? Shrek. Shrek. Yeah. What? Yeah. Like, like, like the movie? Like the movie. That was insane. Bye. What up, everybody? I hope you're feeling good, feeling great. And assalamu alaikum from the Sultan Mosque right here in Singapore. My mission for the Singapore vlog series is food food and more food but tonight we're doing a little night crawl and since we are staying right next to the beautiful Sultan Mosque I thought hmm let's do a halal food tour tonight's episode is all about Muslim food because I'm very very thankful that so many people that follow Islam uh, enjoy my vlogs and like the content I've made in Bangladesh Pakistan and all over the world so this vlog is just for y'all literally just take a turn down the street and we got Al Tasneem halal welcome to Al Tasneem name Selamat de Tang, best murtabak, best biryani restaurant. What are we gonna try? I don't think I know what murtabak is. Yo, they got specialized in murtabak, deer, mutton, chicken, beef, sardine, nasi biryani, deer, lamb shank, chicken, beef, fish, fish head curry, prata, naan, tosai, and chapati. All of my favorite things, I think. Ooh. We've got a lot of like Indonesian and Malaysian specialties too. If y'all didn't know, Singapore is like one of the best food cities, food countries in the world. Any kind of delicacy you're looking for, any kind of cuisine, they're gonna have it here. Indian food, Pakistani food, Bangladeshi food, Chinese food, Thai food, Vietnamese food. And the list goes on and on and on. Oh my gosh, those look like, is that the lamb? No, I don't know what that is. That looks so good. We've got some chicken here. Wow, everything looks just divine. 786 Muslim food. What does the 786 mean? I'm not familiar with that. But I think we gotta try the murtabak with deer. I haven't had deer in so long. In the United States, we call deer venison. Let's see where we order here. Uh, oh wow, they got all sorts of soft drinks and all these weird like candy and snacks. Hello, how are you? Do, do I order here? Yeah, Okay. One murtabak deer. Deer murtabak? Mutton, chicken, feet. Okay, let's do a mutton murtabak. Small, medium, large. Oh, let's do a small. Small, okay. Yes. For here, to, to eat here, please. Yo, uh, a new friend here wants to show me something. Ah, it's the Singapore flag. Beautiful, beautiful. What's your name? Dong. Dong. Yeah. Nice to meet yeah. you, man. Are you from Singapore? Yeah. Amazing. Singapore, I um, do everything. You do everything, okay. <laughs> he does everything. Yeah. Dong the man. Thank you, man. My man here says the mango lassi is the best thing. What's your name? Very best one. I'm Mickey. Mickey. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Maybe not a traditional Singaporean name, Mickey. All right, so he just scooped some yogurt or curd uh, into the blender there, and now he's pouring in the mango puree. Not quite sure if that's 100% real mango or artificial mango. Oh, there goes the condensed milk. Oh, wow, look at that pour. Yeah, yeah. Scoop some ice in there. And we're in Singapore, so we don't have to worry about the quality of the ice. Pouring a little bit of water in there. Putting the top on. Oh, and we can get a sneak peek at them making it in here. Murtabak, yes. right? Wow, does that look good. We got it on a gigantic. Oh, nice flip, nice flip. Oh, wow, look at it start to bubble. Look at all that oil in there. This looks incredible. Oh my gosh, cannot wait to chow down on this. Let's get a nice up close shot of that. Oh, and while I was looking at the lassi, here it is, the murtabak. Wow, this thing is gigantic. Didn't I order the small? This is an insane amount of food for one person. What the heck? We got some cucumbers and some red sauce and then some... The heck is all this stuff, guys? My friend, uh, what, what is this called? This one, mutton. No, no, this. Curry, curry. Curry, oh, it's a curry, okay. This is a curry. And we dipped, did we dip the murtabak in there? Yeah. All right, there we go. Y'all, look at this backdrop of work right here. We got the Sultan Mosque in the backdrop. This is, this is gonna be something special. All right, let's get straight into it. 
this thing smells heavenly. So uh, the internet describes this uh, as an Arabic food that uh, originated in all parts of the world. It's popular in Southeast Asia. It's popular in Saudi Arabia. It looks like we've got a, maybe a mix of some mutton, some onion, and then this bread that's kind of been fried. It almost looks like parata. Pow. Mm. That's so savory. It's so buttery. Not too greasy at all. Oh, thank you. My man dropping the mango lassi in here. Mango lassi. Mango lassi. Wow. That's really, really good. We didn't get a lot of mutton on the first bite, but I can tell. The mutton is really, really nice. Uh, it's not jam-packed with mutton, as you can see. It, it's a good balance, though, and you can tell by the color that it's so well-seasoned. It's got these, what I can only describe as like Arabic flavor, Arabic flavorings um, to it. But I really, really dig it. Very heavy on the onion. They're, they're going crazy uh, on the onion in, in this murtabak. But I like everything about it so far. Let's dip it in the curry and see what happens now. Oh, I got a feeling this is really gonna take it up to the next level. How? Don't like a heavy masala flavor in the curry. Very savory, a nice salty element in there. It's way better with the curry, no joke. It's so much better with the curry. I would definitely get this again and I would like to try it with some of the other meats maybe. I think the chicken. Uh, would be quite nice as well. Really wanted to try that deer, but I guess they don't have the, the deer murtabak. One more bite with this curry. Look how like rich and oily that curry is. Pow! No spice at all. Maybe you're thinking this would be spicy. Zero spice element at all. Next up, we're gonna try the mango lassi. Pow! It's cool. It's sweet. It's refreshing, but it's that like, I don't know. It's just giving me like an artificial mango vibe. My hopes weren't high. My, expectation, my expectations are pretty low once I saw them pouring that concentrate, but yeah. It's a little, it's tangy from the yogurt, but my brain wants the real mango. I don't even know if you can get, I'm sure you, there maybe mangoes are imported here. I don't even know if they like grow mangoes in Singapore, but this needs the real deal mango. You feel me? So the, oh, thank you so much. So the total cost of all that was 1450 Singapore dollars, otherwise known as $10 USD. So the area we're in right now and the area I'm staying in is called Arab Street. Um, and there's, I, I really, uh, please comment down below. I'm so curious what's going on because it is a Tuesday night and I've stayed near so many mosques, but I've never heard what I believe is the call to prayer going on for so long. It's almost been going on for, it seems like 25 minutes now. And it, it must be, there must be a, an Islamic service taking place inside, right? That's the only thing I can um, assume is going on here. But look at how beautiful the mosque looks at night. Okay, yeah, it sounds like there's there's got to be some sort of service going on, but what an outstanding mosque. Yeah, they've got the purple, the red, oh, the color changing lights all over the mosque. And since we've got a long night ahead of us, we might as well get a little tea, get a little caffeine in the system. This is Tariq. This is where my Pakistani friend recommended that I go, and we looked at this earlier, but look at this outstanding artwork on the outside. So, tea Tariq is actually milk and hot tea. I'm not sure what part of the world they call call it tea tarakin because, well, that just sounds like milk tea uh, to me. But let's roll in and let's see what they got. And I believe that tea is halal, but we're gonna double check. The menu looks pretty big. They got the tea tarak, they got the tea tarak. Hello, how are you? Good, good. Is tea, is the tea halal? Yes, of yes. course. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know, guys. Uh, okay, what is, what is, what's, let's do a, Tay Tarek Ice? Wait, is that the is that that one's cold? Yes. Okay, wait, let's just do the classic Tay Tay Tarek hot milk tea to, to go please. Alright. Thank you. Uh that'll be everything. Thank you. What's the tea tarak made out of? Where, where's the tea from? So the tea we use tea dust, then we use milk mix. Okay. Oh like condensed milk. Condensed milk and Condensed and evaporated milk with the tea. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, okay. Thank you, brother. Okay, look at this handy dandy uh, travel handle holder we got with it. Uh, okay, this was $2, but then I used my credit cards. So they told me there's a fee 
of 20 Singaporean cents. So this was about $1.50, $1.75 when you convert it. I dig this, don't necessarily need it because I'm not the biggest fan of like wasting plastic, but let's try this out. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, so what's the best? The best is sardine and potato for the plastic, but then it's already sold out. So we only have oh. vegetables. Oh no, the yeah. sardine and potato is sold out? Yeah. Oh, tragic. We'll do uh, one vegetable. One vegetable. And it's, it's halal, right? Yes. Okay, you thank you. Do you a bag? Uh, no bag, I'll, I'll eat it uh, right here. Inside got the sweet chili for you. Oh wow, and what is this called? Uh, this one is vegetable sweet chili. Vegetable sweet chili? Yeah, inside vegetable is bean sprout, tofu and carrot. Epoch, epoch, nigh. What, what is the name of the, the type of food though? Vegetable. Vegetable. Apo, apo. apo. Okay, I've never had Apo before. Sorry, we saw a place and I, I had to stop here. I've never had Apo before. I see you got this cool little window here. Apoc, Apoc, Nye. And they got some rendang beef and some other foods too. And so we got the vegetable, and this is only two Singaporean dollars, which is just about $1.75 USD. Credit card? Uh, cash. Cash, okay. And so I'm, I'm doing a halal food tour video tonight. Oh. Where, where is like another halal restaurant that I need to go to? Where's the uh, best halal rice, food in Singapore? Uh, Indian food? Anything halal, anything that's okay, delicious. You just walk straight, then you turn left. There's a uh, Indian food. I think I just went there. I had zam -zam. I, I had murtabak. Oh that... yeah, that one. Uh, you should try the chindo there. Chindo? Yes. That way? Yeah, chindo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I see it. Send send all. Yeah, chindo. Chindo. It's an um like ice kacang. Oh, and that and that's halal. Uh, it's halal. Okay, we'll try that one next. Thank uh, you. What's your name? Sophie. Sophie. You're so sweet. You're very Thank beautiful, you. Sophie. Thank you. Okay, the tea tark has cooled down just a little bit now. Here we go. Pow, tea tark time. Oh my gosh, is that good. Wow! It's so sweet. It's so milky. It's so creamy. It's got this just like... This flavor, it truly, it it, it, it it makes me want to start singing the Arabian Night song from Aladdin. Oh my word, this is, this is so, so good. I bet it would even taste even better out of an actual mug uh, rather than the takeaway. Oh my gosh, guys, this is insane. Like, mm, it's so smooth. It's silky. Oh, it's just, I don't know why I showed you the cup. You can't see anything in the cup, but. This is, this is truly, wow. That's one of the best cups of tea I've ever had in my life. Singapore is insane. This is the kind of city state where you can just walk for 30 seconds and see five restaurants that all look really, really good and you wanna try it. Okay, let's give the Epoch, Epoch Nai uh, a try here. They just like pulled this out of, of somewhere. I don't even know where they had it. Um, it feels like it's a little, it's a little lukewarm, but okay. So it looks like we've got a classic puff pastry. She said it's stuffed with vegetables inside, carrots and who knows what else, pow. Mm, mm. Oh man, I think there's definitely some like cabbage and sprouts in there. Very, very fresh. And the puff pastry on the outside, it's good. It's like cooked to perfection. I do wish this was a little, little warmer, a little hotter, but I think they were maybe getting down to like the last bits that they had there. Mm. It's kind of like a fried, spring roll let me turn it around and shine the light on it so you can uh, maybe see it a little bit better there but yeah we've got what i think are like bean sprouts some sort of green vegetable and then carrot it's good but you know what it needs it needs a little bit of this sweet chili sauce y'all i gotta be very very careful not to litter because singapore is no joke you litter in this country they're gonna throw you in jail for 35 years okay we're gonna pour in some of this sweet chili sauce I think she said it was sweet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It smells sweet. I like how they put it in this little, like, dime bag for you to take. Not, uh, that's cool. That's efficient. All right, we've loaded it up now with the sweet chili sauce. Pow. Mm. Uh huh. Uh huh. That takes it to another level. Much needed. Much, much needed. I really like it. And the dough, it's pretty light, too. You're not gonna get super filled up eating this, which is good. It's not super oily, it's not super greasy. And the amount of vegetables inside, it's a good ratio. You're definitely, definitely getting way more vegetables than you are the breading. 
I would definitely get this again. And as much as I want to break the rules, break the law and jaywalk, again, do not break the law in this country because they will catch you. One of the like the most strict countries in the world when it comes to crime, when it comes to doing bad things. Uh, if you jaywalk, if you don't know what jaywalk is, it just means walk across the street when you're not supposed to when the red don't walk sign us up. It's like a 50 to $60 fine uh, for tourists. Who knows what the price is for locals, but I'm gonna assume the locals know better. And here we go. Changi Village Sendal Malacca, Singapore's favorite sendal. All right, here we go. We got the Sendal Malacca. Oh, $2.50. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Oh, she's also the queen of Goreng Pisang. Fried banana. What else they got here? Fish tempura. Oh, we got the traditional, but we also got the red bean. I love red beans so much, but I feel like we got to try the traditional. Hi, how are you? Good. This is a sendal? Yeah. Is it, it was, uh, do you say chendal or sendal? Chendol. Chendol. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Malaysian food. Malaysian food. Halal, right? Yeah. Halal. What's better, traditional or red bean? Yeah. What's best taste? Red bean. Red bean. Let's do the red bean. One red bean bowl, please. Oh, you don't have so only cup, okay? Oh, you only have the cup? Yeah. Okay, perfect. We'll do a cup. Oh, the cup is the same price as the bowl. Okay. So $3 for the red bean, which is a mega, mega deal. That's just about $2.50. Wait, what are we really going on here? Oh, she's shaving like this ice block. And then she's taking... Palm what is, sugar. Palm sugar. Oh, yeah. wow. Palm sugar. Okay. Yeah, oh, palm sugar. You have jelly, pandan leaf. Panda leaf. Yeah. Okay. I've never had anything like this. Oh, and then a big scoop of that red bean on top. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then she puts it in the cool like boba tea machine that covers it up. And then she's putting it in the classic Singaporean go-to carrying case. Oh, and we drink it? Yeah. With a straw? Yeah. Oh, wow. Shake, yeah. Shake it. Yeah. Ooh, that's going to be my favorite part. A little travel advice. I was told that you don't need cash here in Singapore, that every single place takes credit card. They did not take credit card. And the other place, the Ipok place over there, they did not take a credit card either. Glad I brought some cash. Maken Malaka loves you, whoever that is. Okay, it's time to shake it. I'm a little nervous. I'm sure the seal is tight, but I feel like if I shake it, it's gonna fly all over the place. Here we go. Ah, ah. Shake, 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 shake. Just like Taylor Swift. Shake it off, shake it off. Okay, and now it's turned into a very brown mixture. It certainly looked a lot more appealing. Uh, when we first got it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wow. Now you can see those like, what well, looks to be like green noodles floating in it. And I don't know if you can see that, but you can see like the uh, the cool mist come off it. Okay. Pow. Oh, that's so satisfying. That's so, so satisfying. Pow. What the heck? That's a mind blower. Hold on. Hold on. Do I like it? It's super sweet. That palm sugar is so, so thick. It's it, it's like the sweetest thing you've ever had in your life. I like it. There's a very strange like coffee flavor in here. So the green stuff is green rice flour jelly. And it kind of reminds me of boba just a little bit. It all works. I'm not the biggest fan of boba tea. I'm not the biggest fan of like chunks floating in my drink, but this is good. It's refreshing. The, the green jelly really doesn't have any flavor to it. The overwhelming flavor here is that palm sugar, which is just like very similar, like a brown sugar bomb. I am, mm, I'm so in love with this. And then you get kind of like the earthy flavor and the little bit of sweetness from the red bean in there. I finally just started to like start sucking up some of the red beans. If you've never had red bean, put, put red bean on any dessert and it just, it takes it to another echelon. I'm so in love with red bean. I'm guessing a lot of parts of the world we're here from, maybe they don't have red bean desserts, but this, mm. I could eat it again and again and again, and a mega value too, for only three Singapore dollars. You can see that little piece of that green jelly hanging out the top there. Just an absolute banger. That was delicious. So good, thank you so much. What kind of milk was it? What kind of milk? Yeah, coconut, milk. coconut milk. It was coconut milk. Okay. 
Thank you so much. Amazing, amazing place. You're so sweet. So that nice lady's recommendation about the Chen doll was so good, we gotta take her advice for Singapore Zam Zam. Okay, here they also have the deer mertzabak and the nasi biryani and the fish head curry. Well, let's see what else they're cooking up here. Let's keep it, let's keep it going. This must be like the biggest competitor to the other restaurant that we just tried. Oh, hello, assalamu alaikum. Wow, how are you guys? Oh my gosh, look at the mertzabak there that they're making up here. What it, what's, uh, what's special, what's best thing? Best food? Murtabak. Murtabak. Ah. What's the second best food? Biryani. Biryani. Let's do a biryani. What kind of biryani? A chicken? Do you have deer? Uh, chicken, mutton, beef. Do you have deer chicken. biryani? Yes. Yeah. Deer? Ah. Let's do the deer biryani. Please. Okay, one deer biryani. We, oh, we got everything right here. Okay, let's do a... Oh, you got sardine biryani? This have biryani, this one here. Oh beer, my gosh. Beer, that's fine. Deer, beer. for 17. Okay, let's do the deer biryani. One here, take away. Uh, here, I'll have yeah. it here, please. Uh, sorry, the deer biryani, now the, now the ingredients, the 20 dollars. It's now, to, the price went up. Sorry. <laughs> 20, yeah, let's do it. 20, 20 for the biryani, okay. Perfect, sounds good to me. Have it here? I'll have it here, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see what the inside looks like. We'll do a little, we'll do some street action. What's up, man, how are you? We'll sit on the street, we'll sit out here. Deer biryani. This is gonna be insane. Bang, bang. Here we go, the deer biryani. And they've also given me like, I don't even know what this is. No idea what that is. Certainly not a right to, maybe it's like a chutney. Let's see what we're working with. Oh wow, that's a big piece of deer. That's a huge piece of deer, oh deer. And then we've got, oh, are those cucumbers? Look at the color. I think those are cucumbers? Maybe that almost looks like zucchini. What the heck? Wow, this is a very different biryani than I've ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh, look at the orange color of that egg. That's an outstanding orange. Wow. Okay, this looks out of this world, y'all. I angled my camera so we could uh, see the Sultan Mosque in the background again. Oh my gosh, guys. I, I, I I'm not even ready for this. This is gonna be insane. I love deer so much. Deer is one of my favorite meats back home. Oh my gosh, I can already tell how tender it is. It's truly like falling apart. It almost looks like it's kind of like been roasted or something. All right, let's waste no time. Let's get some of that rice. Let's get some of the deer. Big bite time, pal. Mmm. Oh my gosh. What? That is so, so good. It felt like that was just like a very thin, fatty piece of the deer. But here we're gonna get a nice tender chunk of it. Um, we're eating again. A great flavor to it. I've never had a biryani that tastes like this. Very spicy. This is very different than Pakistani biryani. Very different than Bangladeshi biryani. This is one of the best biryanis of all time. I'm calling it right now. Look at this deer. It's so tender. It's just like fork tender. You stick your fork in and it just comes apart like it's been marinated and who knows what kind of juices or seasonings for so, so long. I realized that I probably should be eating this biryani with my hand. Forgive me, everybody, please, please, please forgive me. Pow. This deer, y'all, it's, it's just, it's tantalizing. That's one of the best ways to describe it. This is seriously one of the best biryanis I've ever had in my life. Outstanding. There must be a lot of deer in Singapore. My followers from all around the world, let me know. Why don't your countries have deer? Maybe there just aren't deer in the countries where you're from, or it's illegal to kill them or something. Because in the United States, you can only hunt deer like a few days out of the year. So deer is very rare, and deer is very expensive in the United States, which is maybe why the price went up here as I was ordering it. Normally, I'd be like, this is the USA, I'd be like, yo, false advertising. It says $17 on the sign. What's up with this 20 nonsense you're telling me? Let's go ahead and take whatever this sauce is here, and pour that right on. As usual, I'm not even using my hands, but I'm still making a mess. Some sort of weird mystery liquid just fell from the ceiling. It's not raining. Thank God, thank God I missed the deer biryani. Okay, pow. Mmm, mmm. Well, this is definitely another type of curry, like very thick, Spicy. This is there's there's a lot of spice in this. There's a decent amount of spice in the deer biryani, but there's a lot of spice 
coming from the curry. We're just gonna pour that curry all over it because it's really just elevating everything about this biryani, y'all. Wait a second, my man just told me this is like a mutton dal chana. Was there dal in there? Oh, maybe there, maybe there are just like the tiniest little bit of chickpeas in there. This is unreal. This is, wow. Indian, Pakistani, Bangladeshi followers don't get mad at me. But like I said before, this is one of the best biryanis I've ever had in my life. A true, a true triumph. Yo, man, that was so good. Oh, that was, that was insane. Nice, nice. That was so man. good, man. <laughs> wow, what's your name? My name is Habib. Habib. Yeah, Brad, nice, nice to meet you, Habib. You like today? Rings on rings. Nice rings, uh, brother. Yeah, we have rings. <laughs> I'm from the United States of America. So you're on a holiday here. Uh, I travel all around the world making videos about food, culture, nice, people. Nice, nice. I just came from Bangladesh. Uh huh. Well, actually, I just came from India. Oh. And I was in Bangladesh before that, and I was in Pakistan about a year ago. Nice. This might be the best biryani I've ever had in my oh, life, man. Oh, actually, mix of Indian and Arabic cuisine. Indian and Arabic yes. mix. Wow. So you can't find these anywhere else in Singapore. You got It'll the, be different. You got the secret unlocked. That yes. is that is one of the best biryani. That was so good, you're man. Right, you're I'm right, blown buddy. away. Bye, I've, I've had so much good biryani. Glad Hello. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> I've had so much good biryani nice. over the road with this. Yes, Outstanding. <laughs> Ooh. There's a like bazaar. Bazaar behind yeah, the mosque. You can see like our oh, hipster food. Night market. Hipster yeah. foods? Yes. Okay, hipster foods. Oh, it's like it's like uh, street foods. Yes. Okay. And there's live music there too, right? Yes. Okay, we're headed there. All right. All right. Behind the mosque. Thank you. Thank you, you babe. See you again, go huh? this way and then this way. Eh? You can go by here actually. Oh, go through here. Okay. Yes. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Amazing food. Zam Zam special. Yes. Killer. <laughs> well, what's up, man? How are you? Hey, good, good. What's your name? Shrek. Shrek. Yeah. What? Like, like, like the movie? Like the movie, sir. Yeah, that's an awesome name. I like your glasses too. Very, very cool. Thank you, sir. Shrek, I got a question, man. Yes, sir. Where can I go to get the best halal dessert in this area? I'm looking for a delicious halal dessert. Delicious halal dessert. You can actually try. I mean, the place itself, right? Right. Yeah. Right here. We want. We want to support this this group of people. Okay. Uh, on the left side, actually. Left side. Okay. Yeah, on the left side. There's a tree stores down you can find a dessert there. and it's a dessert yep. any any specific dessert you recommend uh i yet to try but i know they're doing good okay really but you know they're doing good yeah, okay just shrek right. thank you my man let's get crazy we're gonna do we're gonna do the matzah choco crunch real quick while the music stops 100 muslim owned uh i don't even know the name of this place that took forever that literally took one usher song one pitbull song one david getta song and one Dr. Dre song. They were they were making so much food there. I was like, where's my cheese and choco? Where's my choco cheese? And look at this. Wow. Have you ever seen something so crazy? It's got what looks to be, what are those? I don't think they're nuts. It almost looks like corn flakes or something on there. That's crazy. The chocolate sauce is like spilling out, out of the container. It's all over my hand already. This looks so big. This looks so massive. What the heck? This is just an insane amount of food. Oh crap, how much was it? I think it was eight. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was eight uh, Singapore dollars. So roughly about $5.50. USD, it smells so good. It doesn't smell cheesy. It smells oily and it smells chocolatey. Pow. Oh my God. Mm, mm, oh. Wow. Wow. What? Look at all that cheese. Oh my gosh. It's so ooey and gooey. Take a look at it. Wow. That works. I don't know how it works, but it works. It's like chocolate syrup, almost like Hershey's chocolate syrup. And then it's full. The thing is completely full of cheese. It's so dense, it's, it's unreal. The crispy batter that they've used on the outside great crunch to it. Just like a lot of the other foods we had, the ratio here is perfect. An insane amount of cheese mixed with just the right amount of that crispy fried breading on the outside. It's so heavy. It's so much food. This has got to be the most unhealthy thing we've consumed uh, during this. This might be the most unhealthy thing I've consumed like in my entire life. Pure cheese, fried breading, deep fried of course, and then with chocolate sauce and these crunchy like cornflakes on it. The cornflakes are nice. Those add like a little bit more like crunch uh, to it all, all together. I don't know if I could recommend it. Like it's good, but they can make it like 33% of 
small. No, they can make it like 75% smaller and it would be a lot better. There's just, I'm taking it back on the ratio. There's so much cheese. There's like way too much cheese in here. Thank gosh we ate this at the end of the video. Otherwise we wouldn't survive. We couldn't have had any of the other food that we had out here. This thing is just massive. And that's that everybody. Only makes sense that we end the video right where we started back at the Sultan Mosque. Everything was delicious. Everything was tasty. Some things I probably wouldn't get again or I'd just get different variations of. Um, but the Dia Biryani, true, true highlight. True highlight of like the last year in food for me. It was just so, so good. I want to give a major shout out to all the nice street, all the nice food vendors that we met tonight. Everyone who gave me suggestions, uh, everyone who came up and asked me about the channel and all the people that were serving up the, that delicious, delicious food. And of course, i uh, got to give another major thanks to you guys for enjoying this video, watching it all the way uh, till the end. Greatly appreciate your support. I would greatly appreciate if you hit that like and subscribe button so you can keep watching my ventures from all over the world and you can help me to do these things for many, many years to come. If you have any suggestions on what other halal foods or halal food spots that I should have eaten at while I'm here in Singapore, please let me know, comment below. More food vlogs to come from Singapore and I promise you this is not my last time in Singapore. I'm already getting ready to plan my next trip because there's just way too much food to fit uh, into one trip especially into just a small series of videos. My name's Brent Tim from Singapore at the Sultan Mosque, and I'm saying ciao for now.